تذكر يوما كنت تعانق دمعة الفكر تناجي الله في صبر وترجو رحمة تسري Assalamu alaikum guys So the other day I was watching an argument between an atheist and a Muslim And I found it very intriguing, interesting So I wanted to share it with you guys as well So you know the atheist guy was asking that Do you think that I am that big of a fool that I'm just gonna change my life according to a book and he was hinting at the Quran of course so the Muslim guy uh, replied with this analogy he said that according to your very own analogy now the next time you're gonna receive a salary you know do not take the, the currency do not take the notes because what are the notes worth I mean they're just a piece of paper right they're, they're worth nothing right so basically what the point he's making is that the Quran is not just any book, you know. Yes, of course, you will not uh, change your life uh, according to any uh, a book written by any author. You know, it's it's not only the book. It is who wrote the book, the author of the book. You see, because the currencies that you use, the money you use, it is a piece of paper at last, but it is uh, certified by the government, and you know, it has a value. And likewise the Quran has a value and the highest of the values because this Quran has been certified or written by Allah the Creator you see so you cannot just uh, compare this book with any other book and also you know you cannot compare Quran with the previous scriptures that Allah sent uh, including the Bible and the Torah because they were, we agree that they were the scriptures of Allah, you know, but they were the words of Allah, but now they have been corrupted. The words have been changed and, you know, complete meanings have been changed. So that's why now we rejected to call it the 100% the word of Allah. Uh, hence, you know, the latest book of Allah is the Quran. Good point. Smile. Sunnah. Assalamu alaikum.